is up my beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel it is your girl stella aka stla aka fairy box shop baby i hope that each and every one of you are having a very blessed and a beautiful day and that you are saying kind things to yourselves and to others before i jump into this reading i want to go ahead and thank all of my returning subscribers and my new subscribers for once again letting me tune in and tap into your energy i greatly appreciate and love each and every one of you and without further ado my beautiful piscean gods let's go ahead and jump right pisces the the message that I got that came out for you is reality is better than dreams if you so choose it to be. Break free from those illusions, okay? Right? So Pisces, you guys like to daydream. You're the daydreamers. You like to get all up in your head. You like to imagine things like almost like Gemini energy. Your head is your favorite place to be. You really very much are the dreamers. So your reality can be better than dreams if you so choose it to be, right? So beautiful beautiful energy to start with okay so let's go ahead and see what messages we have coming out here for you today we have the queen of swords in reverse with the hierophant in reverse with the wheel okay so we got a lot of reversals here first of all so doing a lot of introspection doing a lot of feels like backpedaling but for the right reasons in my in my opinion and what i'm feeling here um, the Hierophant is already a really good card, whether it's in reverse or not, because it does show me that you are on the right track here, okay? This is also some Scorpio energy. When I see this card, I definitely get Scorpio vibes off that. So Scorpios are very intensely psychic, okay? You know this. You are also part of the psychic clan, the water signs. Y'all are so intuitive, okay? So we have the Queen of Cups coming out with the Knight of Cups here as well. So lots of Cups energy, lots of water energy. All right, so this is really good, okay? Feeling like you're a little bit in your element, but also feeling a little bit lost, okay? We have the Five of Pentacles here, which as to me, this is all about that daydreaming energy. This is feeling shut out from the world. This is feeling cut out from the world, but this is also, when I say that daydreaming energy, this is putting yourself in illusions. This is trapping yourself to a certain ideal that is not particularly true right what we see out of the world is what we believe okay so we can always change our belief systems to change the way that we see the world so if you're feeling very rejected by society right you're feeling like you don't really have a group of people that you can hang out with you can always change the way that you see the world and call in spiritually call in some new friends some new partners some new business relationships right you're in full control of that but that also it starts from within yourself okay so the queen of swords in reverse here is it's just to me what i'm feeling off of this card is there's a lot of self-sabotage here a lot of mental self-sabotage here okay feeling like stuck feeling a little bit resistant right okay so we also have the virgo new moon coming up on the sixth right with the water signs water placements you guys are going to be way more affected by the moon which is a water element based astrological entity so that is going to affect the water signs a lot more than it will with any other sign with it being in the house of virgo we're going to be seeing a lot of deep introspection right the Virgo energy coming out in the reading here as well with the Hermit card. Doing a lot of deep introspection, doing a lot of critical thinking, analytical thinking, reflecting on how we organize ourselves, our thought patterns, our behaviors, our approach to our finances and our career because it is an earth sign. We're going to be looking a lot more at materialism, 3D based ideologies, belief systems, and items and objects in our possession as well as our work finances, career, things in that area, in that house. Virgo is very meticulous. They are very articulate as well. They're very well informed, educated. They know a lot about a lot of different things. They're also very picky. Okay. So this is an energy that you might be feeling coming up to surface, feeling like maybe you have too high of standards or maybe your standards are a little bit too low. This could be something that you're thinking about a lot, trying to really put yourself in a box, in a category where you don't rightfully belong, okay? And this is all good because this is how we do shadow work. We come to realization about our thought patterns, our behaviors, and our actions, which are, you know, presumably based off of our belief systems, okay? So our actions are based off of our beliefs. We have the Three of Pentacles coming out next. This is some mentorship. This is also working with people, working with friends, family, community to come together for a greater cause. Now that cause could be finances as this is a Pentacles card, which is 
Again, materialistic things, items, money, finances, career. However, it could be something as simple as just enjoying each other's company, you know, working together as a team just to have a good time. We have the Temperance with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Wands in reverse here. Now, Cancer got all of these cards here as well. So if you have some Cancer placements, I highly suggest you go check that reading out. But I'm going to go ahead and give you the rundown about this. The Temperance in reverse means that you are out of balance, which we have already determined here. You're a little bit too hard on yourself, stuck in illusions, wanting your life to be something different than what it is. You can change it, but you have to make the initiative to change that. You have to show up in the world in a way that is going to allow for you to receive that proper change that you're seeking after. You can't just daydream about it all the time and not take action. The Four of Swords in reverse here is telling me you're not getting enough sleep. You're not resting enough. You could be having some insomnia, tossing and turning, not wanting to really go anywhere, not wanting to leave the past in the past, feeling kind of stuck and bound to certain relationships, thought patterns, behaviors, dynamics, belief systems, things of that nature. Again, though, it is all your choice. Okay, so next we have the moon, okay, with the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Is this about your money? Are you feeling stuck to a job? Okay, because we do have a lot of Pentacles here. Okay, so the Pentacles is coming up a lot here. So this could be something about maybe having some issues around finances and career. Not wanting to enjoy money or have it as much of a source in your life as maybe... You would like to avoid in the sense that a lot of earth sign placements, we enjoy, like I have a lot of Capricorn placements, so that's why I'm saying we, we enjoy money. We love money. We are not afraid to go work nonsense hours and go get the money or whatever. When it comes to water signs, water signs typically don't really enjoy that. They kind of wish that you could trade things. You don't really have to work for money, that things could be different. So I feel like maybe you're having a lot of resistance here when it comes to finances and career. And this is something that's coming up here because you need money to live, right? So we're doing a lot of shadow work around our perception of money. Wanting to do a job that is going to pay really good that you're actually going to enjoy, but feeling like you're drowning in these emotions. So this is a lot of shadow work that needs to be done here surrounding money, finances, and career, as well as your ability to change your reality, okay? To change it into something that is going to feel better than your daydreams, to actually make your daydreams into your reality, okay? Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do, okay? You only live once here. You only live once here. Live it up. Live it up, Pisces. Share your voice. Share your voice. Get out there into the world. Come out of the cave, okay? We have, you're already doing it. Stop overthinking and face your true north. So go ahead and pull your astrological natal, your astrological chart, your astro chart, your astronatal chart, whatever you want to call it. Look at your north node. What is your north node, okay? Your north node is your destiny. So go ahead and look at that. That's going to give you a good direction on which way you should go. Your priestess energy here is coming out high and strong, okay? So your path, your career could very well be into tarot, astrology reading, pulling people's charts, helping people get through to the uh, spiritual realm, right? S Pisces, you're very psychic, okay? You're very psychic. This could be something that, you know, you would very much enjoy getting paid for, you know? Like something that would be very much enjoyable to give this service to people and it wouldn't drain you, right? Going out into the world and doing what you love instead of shutting your gifts off or only having them for private. We have the Council of Light, Divine Orchestration, Helpers in the Subtle Realm. So you got a lot of spiritual energy coming out here. Your ancestors are very prevalent. You probably feel them all the time, okay? We have Sisterhood of the Rose and Anna, Grandmother of Jesus, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan, Beauty and Devotion, Priestess, Mystic Teacher, okay? So that's two Priestess cards here. So Pisces, I want you to really think about a career change here that's going to make you feel way more enjoyed and way more present and feel like everything and everything in your life is way more enjoyable okay so that's really going to shift your energy here where you're not feeling so crazy where your daydreams can actually become reality where you can feel like you're actually living in a dream because it's very much possible all right that is where i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this reading as always if you guys liked it if it resonated don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and a comment down below i would love to hear from you and if you would love to book with me all of the information would be listed in the description box as well and without further ado my beautiful Pisces. 
fantasy and gods. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Peace, love, and light. Bye!